Hello YouTube, this is One Legged Prepper. And I wanted to talk to you about history. When I was a Civil War reenactor, we played the part. We portrayed uh, people who um, worked, um, we were working soldiers. And to be realistic, I bought things like era correct playing cards, era correct dice, and all that. And I put them in a little bag. And these bags were literally called bags of sin because gambling was looked down upon during the Civil War. And among other things, they had uh, inappropriate pictures, and which I never got. But anyway... I think you, you know where this is going. Uh, so. That and. Uh, to a certain degree smoking. Alcohol. So these soldiers. Would have. These. Bags of sin. And as they were going into battle. They'd have them in their pockets. And then they would throw them out into the woods. Because they didn't want to be caught with these bags of sin on them. So after the battle, and they had made it through, they would go back into the woods and find their bags of sin. So today... I would like to talk to you about your bangers of sin. Because we have access to things that are uh, way worse. Our bags of sin can include smoking, drinking, pornography addiction. Sexual addition, anything that can be addictive. Heck, even social media can be addictive. How many likes you get on a video can uh, be an oppressive dopamine hit. So I encourage you, if you're dealing with bag of sin in your life, and you want help with it, I'm asking you now. I'll show you what to do. But please say this prayer with me. Dear Yeshua, I am dealing with something that is controlling and destroying my life. Fill in the blank. I am asking you to please forgive my transgressions against you and help me beat the addiction of fill in the blank. And help me to be a glorification to your name. I ask uh, that you show me the uh, meaning for my life and how you want me to help my community, my region, my state, and my country grow to know you and serve you. And we ask this in Yeshua's name.
Amen. Okay, YouTube. Um, one other fine point. There is no J in Hebrew. Jesus Christ is an Englishization of what Yeshua is supposed to be. And I have a uh, deeper walk with the Lord. So, uh, basically, he gave me permission to call him by his name. Instead of um, calling somebody James, he has given me permission to call him Jim, for example. We haven't gotten to the point of nickname Nats, but I'm sure eventually they'll soon come. Your faith needs to be real. Last week, JJ's, or I'm sorry, last week the kids prepper's teacher had a meltdown because she was not rock solid in her faith. And you know, to me, faith is common sense. You do to please the Lord and help spread his kingdom. Or you follow your own paths and head into destruction. When my son's teacher told me he doesn't live in the same community as I do. And when I can, I try to expose him to uh, bigger communities. Because there are two jobs where he lives. A factory that will probably be shut down in two years. Due to uh, trade regulations. And then restaurants like Subway. That's not a future. If a teacher's whole goal is to uh, have their students work at Subway, I think it's time we need to find new teachers. But I digress. She obviously has a bag of sin that she's dealing with. And I hope that uh, one day she can say that prayer and find the true plan that God has for her. Just checking my time here. I've been doing a lot of shorts. Falling out of the algorithm. But in clothing, I want to say a few things. Number one, ask Yeshua to get rid of your bag of sin. Number two, don't let people set you up for failure. You can be what you ever want to be. And number three, don't ever, ever. Let anybody try to define your faith or tell you that you are less than what you are. You need to have a rock solid relationship with Yeshua. Well, as YouTube, 
If you found this video useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And the reason why I zoom up is because um, I have cataracts. And this isn't going to make much sense, but I have I see bright, dark clouds, almost like a fog. I'm sensitive to light, but yet everything looks dark. You figure that one out. But anyway, um, I'll be having surgery soon, so my quality of videos will improve. Well, YouTube, as always, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is One Legged Prepper. Out.